Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to UMRV and our <coughs> cattle feedlot series uh, here on the channel. So today we are going to be busy. Uh, this is still it's getting late in the first day of our playthrough here, March. Uh, it's all the same day as when we set up the farm and did the tour video and all that. So did a lot in this day, but we need to get some ground planted. So we are going to, after this saves, here in a second, all right, um, we are going to be planting some oats. We have one field here. <clears throat> so here's a quick overview of our fields. We have our land here. And we have our small grass pasture right back in here. We have this field here that is 8,000 or 8 hectares, which is, I have no idea what that is in acres. 17 hectares, 14 hectares, and then we have a grass field over here as well. So, this, we are in uh, spring, so we are using the start and spring mod. So we have grass here that we can harvest. I believe that's grass. Yeah, grass. And then the only field that doesn't need plowing is 48. So 48 is what we're going to be planting with oats. So we can have the straw for bedding for our cows. We will get the uh, tractor, the big tractor going on some uh, plowing. Probably on which field? Probably on uh, 41 or 44 here, just because that's probably more course play friendly than this one. So we have some planting we're gonna do on 48. Uh, we're probably gonna head down to 39, or we'll do just do 50 right here by the farm, and we'll mow it with our challenger mower. <coughs> Start getting some bales going, and then uh, yeah, and then we'll also be doing some tillage there. So. Uh, let's get the 8550, I believe is what the number on the big challenger is. Let's get that going. So we have taken out $500,000 on the loan. Uh, as you can see here, we have a lot more equipment than the last, than the first uh, farm tour I showed. Um, I'm not going to be referencing that a whole lot because that's not relevant to this series. So we do have... Quite a bit of equipment that we spent money on here. So we didn't have nearly as much money as we once did, so. Grab the ripper here. So we're $500,000 in debt. We have no cattle right now. So our plan is to get some cattle here soon. Flip on the hazards, the beacons. I'm not exactly sure why I decided to start in spring. It probably would have been smarter to start in, you know, like summer where you usually start. Because the fact that we have cows, being able to chop corn right away would have been nice for cattle feed. But it is what it is. I just kind of wanted to switch it up a little bit and get right into planting. So, that is okay. So, as we can't break have to see which field. So it's this field that we're going to be starting on. Okay. Right here next to the house. I think this thing does not want to break. I think I have reduced engine braking on though. Or whatever that mod's called. Flip our beacons off. Get her unfolded while we set up some course play. So we'll go four headlands. Smooth is fine. If it misses a little bit, that's okay. We're right on where we want to be. Generate. Gotta start on the other direction. That's fine. Have it on first waypoint. 
Now, as in all of my playthroughs, besides Richlands, I think, I will be paying our course play workers 50%. Oh, I hope this doesn't slide. Oh boy, what is going on? She don't want to pull. She don't want to pull at all. Uh oh. That's not good. We under horsepowered here or I'm wondering if it's a our real wheels mod issue. I don't know. That's weird. I guess we'll leave it go for now. Oh boy. <laughs> That's not ideal, but we gotta switch our course play wages to 50%. And then, as we walk back to the farm, we'll grab the mower and we'll get that set up and then we will start planting by hand. The series will be a little mix of montages and time lapses, so you'll get a little bit of both. I'm curious, however, if we're even ready to harvest on the grass fields. Yes, okay, we are ready, so that's good. get in here and where do we want to go so we're gonna go right down to the field right next to the house just for ease convenience sake so so since we are running four day seasons there will be some things that I probably do off camera that I'll just catch you up on once we get to or once we in like the next video or whatever so Hard to show everything, but I'll try to show as much as we can. Horseplay is going to be our best friend on these big fields, so this is a big hay ground, so I'm okay with it. Again, let's set up some course play. Working with let's do four headlands. Well, let's do six headlands, because I'm thinking about the bale stacker. That thing doesn't turn very well. It's a pretty wide turn. And the uh, rake, that doesn't turn very tight either, so we'll do that. We'll do six. Let's all have to start on the first waypoint. Same guys doing both jobs. Hold up. We gotta turn the conditioner on. Hey. We'll go near sway point. And he's off. No struggles here on this one, which is good. So. I probably would have just pushed it into the next day before starting this video, but really we're just kind of pressed for time to get our oats planted because we, uh, we don't have a whole lot of time to do it, so, because I want to be able to harvest it right away when it's, a when it's able to be harvested, so, which is just a few months away, which is going to be nice, because we are going to be strapped for money for a bit here. Not sure exactly what we'll be doing to make the money. We might do some contracts. Yeah, it's always a big decision for me if I want to do contracts or not. I'm never sure, so. Uh, yeah. This field is quite a little hill here in the middle. It's interesting. Uh, okay, so I will jump back to the planter and we'll start getting planted. So before hopping over here, I did go and check on the, uh, on the uh, chisel plow 
guy, and he seemed to do better. I wonder if it's just because we started on the hill there? That was kind of weird. I mean, I know it's pretty matched for power there. Like, I'm pretty sure it's right on the money with how much horsepower is needed with that, with that plow, so... Yeah. Is there a field entrance into this field? That's not the field we want to plant, so it doesn't matter. But is there one over here? Looks like there's a little pathway over here. Go fast with this, you kind of get a little squirrely. Yeah, it looks like there's a field entrance here for both of these fields, so that's going to be good. <laughs> Good deal. So you guys might have seen our like tender trailer on the semi there. That is a piece that we didn't have when we did the equipment tour. As well as a fuel trailer. You might have spotted that when, when we were in the yard there. So there are rocks in this field. We ha we are not doing rocks because rocks are just the worst, so are going to set up a course by course but we're going to do it by hand for a bit three is going to be fine should be at least okay we'll get her fired up and get her in the ground so Pretty good little setup here, the Challenger and the uh, the Deer Air Drill. I haven't used this drill yet in any of my playthroughs, so it always seemed like it was too overkill, but I feel like on this map it's definitely not overkill. So, I mean, Midwest Horizon is a 4X as well, but I don't feel like the fields are as big, or at least the fields that we farmed on Midwest Horizon, so... I don't know. Well, there's another field entrance right here. Interesting. And these are hilly, too, so... That'll be interesting to see how this tractor does... Pulling this up the hills, so... Make a little round here... Just about perfect. That's why I like tracks, because you can just turn so... Tight. It's nice. run some in cab quick with all of our monitors here these Kinsey monitors they do sync up with this uh, deer drill so we're able to use those as well so kind of universal monitors are not just for the planner it doesn't just have to be a Kinsey planner so oh what was that whoa what is going on there Like a collision on the ground or something? Uh, she did pretty good pulling it up that hill there. She did pretty good. Man, this is a huge field. It's so deceiving how big these fields actually are. When you're just looking at them on the map, man, it is deceiving as all heck. So, so this drill does not run fertilizer as well, so... We are going to have to come out here and run some fertilizer, dry fertilizer, or liquid fur over it. I don't actually have a dry fertilizer spreader, because I figured our, any fertilizing we do will probably just come from manure. And then the sprayer can kind of just be for spraying herbicide, spraying weeds and stuff, but yeah... That might not be the case right now, so we might be spraying some some nitrogen with the sprayer here to start the year. But once we get some cows in, we'll uh, be able to use them, use the manure from them. So, curious if this uh, little like it keeps like hitching on the ground, like collision a little bit. I'm wondering if those are the tanks. If there's a weird collision going on in the tanks or something, I don't know. That, that's a weird one, though. Getting a little bit into the grass. Nice, we can go so fast in this, though. 
pretty high speed planer here which is nice oh man what is going on there we're gonna have to get that figured out I don't like that at all oh my goodness apologies for that guys I was not sure that that was gonna happen so maybe we get around the field here and we what is going on once we get around the field, we, uh, it does look like it's hitting those tanks. Those tanks keep moving. We'll head back to the yard and get these tanks taken off. So, I'll meet you guys once we get back around and we'll get these tanks taken off. So we got the tanks off. I figured it would be better to just do it down here at the field instead of folding up and, uh, doing it, uh, doing it uh, down at the farm just gonna take too much time so hopefully we can get these with the forks we should be able to there we go so we'll bring these back to the farm but we'll set the course play off again while we bring these back down and then I think what we ought to do do ourselves a little montage of what's all going on on the farm here so we'll set them off and we will hop back in tractor we'll head back to the farm so, hope you guys enjoy this series I think it's gonna be I, I really am enjoying this uh, this farm a lot more I don't know why, but I like that we have some bins there. I would just did not... One thing that really was throwing me off was that we... Well, my money is going down real quick. It's because I have the seed... Buy seed thing on. But I really wanted to just run a grain, grain uh, bin system where we had a pit. That, would, that was a big thing for me. So... Let's see if we can set these up. On this little shelf here without hitting the fort or the grapple bucket. Look at that, that's a perfect spot for those. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Maybe want a little skid steer, like a forklift on this farm, so we'll see. But anyway, so uh, yeah, this, far, this uh, save has been a lot of fun, so. Anyway, uh, I'll, let's get into that uh, montage and uh, I'll catch you guys at a good point to catch you.
We're coming up on the last pass here on the field. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the montage. A lot of work going on right now, all at the same time, so. Get this turned around. Looks like course play missed a spot right there, but that's all right. Probably drives a few of you crazy that uh, I just sometimes let spots go because I know that some people get can get pretty triggered by that. <laughs> so let's turn the seed off, this, uh, or the seeder off. This drill's got a great sound to it. Takes a while to fold up. Very realistic. So the mower did uh, happen to finish up. So once we get this back to the farm, we will uh, park it up and then we'll go grab the challenger and Maybe we'll even try and get some raking done quick, but uh, at least w at least we might get it hooked up and ready to go for the next video. So, just driving over the old planted crop here. There's the challenger in the distance, still going. So I did have some issues with this tender and the trigger points to where it loads. I think it's too low. I mean, it fits perfectly, like right over the seed tank here on the drill, but that tender, it's either the load trigger on the drill or the unload trigger on the auger of the seed tender. I don't know, it was weird. So I was having all sorts of issues getting it actually refilled, so. But. We got her. In the end. Just get pulled in here. I think the, uh. 8550 is gonna be at it for a while. That's, uh. It's a pretty big field, even for a decent sized chisel plow, so. Might need to buy ourselves a pressure washer, actually. I don't believe I got one. And we'll set it right here. We'll get ourselves one before the next video, because this drill needs to be washed. So, we'll leave it hooked up, because we'll just plant beans with it first and then we'll switch it over and hook it up to the corn planter so uh, let's go grab the white quick all right so we're in the white some pretty nice startup sounds jmf or not jmf julian f just does a great job with his mods really enjoy all of his mods and good stuff. And I enjoy his maps, obviously, with <laughs> Richlands, so. Get this hooked up. We'll bring it down to the field and then we will drive the Challenger mower back to the farm. Just do a little swapperoo. Tight turn there. Yeah, this white's slick. I like it. I was thinking about running it on Richlands, but I think there's too many Alice mods out there that I'm enjoying running right now, so might be sticking with the Alice. But I felt like this white would fit the you know, Agco brand, old Agco brand, uh, tractors, you know. Get her unfolded. 
turn the hazards off. We'll go three, because we went six with the mower. Oh, it's going to do this again. So for some reason, this rake never... The course play never detects the actual width of this rake for some reason. So, I always, and I always forget that I have to set it because everything else, every other course play, uh, er, every other implement works on course play. It automatically detects the width. So I don't know what it is. It's like a, I mean, it's even a base game rake, which is weird. But you know, way she goes sometimes. We'll get this guy going. We will get the challenger brought back up to the yard. Did good. I uh, got this field done in no time, really. And I thought it would take a lot longer than it did with this mower and the size of the field, but yeah, it actually did well. So it did uh, did it real quick. So didn't have any issues. With with uh, course play on it, so it's all you can ask for, really. I really do like this farmyard. This one's pretty slick. This was actually the one that I was originally going to go with before I decided to do the other farm build, but I didn't like it because it had the pig lot or the pig barn over there that I actually deleted. But I don't know why I didn't think of that at first, but you know, it is what it is. So, just trying to think of where I wanted to put this. But. All right, so I think once we get this parked back into where we want her, just drive it forward. No need to back it in right now. We'll call that a video. We'll let the. Uh, Course play guys keep going at it and uh yeah i think uh i think that's a good start to the series and i appreciate you guys for watching and as always i'll catch you in the next video